guys what is up welcome back to my channel my name is Atiyah you can call me Tia or Sunny whichever one you like girl and today I'm going to take you guys apartment hunting with me so I really want to move because I have basically outgrown my space me and Koopy we we filled this space up in a matter of two years and I just want something bigger so what I'm going to be looking for is either a two bedroom or a one bedroom with a den I definitely want to do a two bedroom two bath and I could settle for like a one bedroom with a den if it's like the right place I'm going to look at my list of non-negotiables so I can let you guys know because we have two apartments that we're going to that we're going to what so we have two apartments that we're going to tour today and then i might tour some more another day some apartments that i want to tour aren't available on the weekend so i have to wait till the next day because today is currently saturday so non-negotiables are it has to have natural lighting i am a content creator so i need natural lighting currently today is very gloomy so i'm using artificial lighting which is okay but on a regular day i would love to just use the lighting that's coming in through the windows also for my mental health it helps too if it has a den it needs a window like i said i need some natural lighting and the den will be my office like studio area easily accessible to dc and virginia i am always commuting somewhere to go take content to go to an event so i want to be close to a highway or five ten minutes from a highway i could just hop on and go here or there also i want a bigger walk-in closet the walk-in closet that i have now is so tiny i didn't know i was like getting new clothes like that until i realized i ran out of hangers so bigger walk-in closet better lighting in the bathroom i'm not negotiating with that like baby i need to see and then light cabinets and countertops uh because I don't really like my countertops, but I'm a very like go with the flow type person. So if it has more of the things that I want and the countertops are not the color that I want, I could just get that little wrap paper and just wrap that joint up. And then lastly is a nice size gym. Sometimes I don't want to go to the gym. I want to go straight downstairs and get my workout in. I don't, you know, like on a rainy, gloomy day, I don't want to go out for real. So, a nice gym that has treadmills, um, nice size weights, like for me, up to like 30 pounds, you know? They, they should have that. Like, that's very bare minimum. <sighs> okay, so those are my non negotiables. I am so excited excited to tour um i always look on apartments.com and when i was looking for like townhomes to rent i was looking on xylo and they also had some on apartments.com as well but um those are the two places that i looked at to find these places that i'm going to go tour i'll leave like as much information as i can on the screen um in the description box if you have questions you can leave it down below and yeah let's go tour these places but first we want to get starbucks yeah me saying that girl i order. know and a splash <laughs> it was a splash for me I did it. <laughs> bro you are funny it's I like when you're it. when you're a content creator you be knowing like oh she about to cut the other part out uh yes please They don't look like Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. Mmm, it's good though. This is what I got from Starbies. Ooh, my broken nail. I gotta hide it. We're on our way to the first one. We got our Starbies. I'm with Shay. And yeah, now we can go. A little charging station over there. But these are cute. Pulling up to the first apartment. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
definitely. But I had a feeling that like since there's only that one like window here, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be that much lighting in here. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see it because I wanted to see if there was gonna be lighting passing through to the den, but mm -hmm. it's not. All right, I'm looking for a two bedroom or a, or a two bedroom den. Mm, more space. For me, I want bedroom den. More space. Mm -hmm. Like, and my dog. Oh, um, well, yeah, mm -hmm. true. Cause and like the one that I showed mm -hmm. downstairs, mm -hmm. like I said, you can get that without the, let's see if you have a dog. So the thing with the alpha balcony, it still has those Juliet balcony doors. Mm -hmm. So you'll still have that side because I know how dogs love to like sit and yeah. sunbathe. Mm -hmm. So that you can still have that there for is it a girl or a boy? A boy. A boy. You can still have that there for him, so you can still like sit and chill. But mm -hmm. it just gives you more indoor space. The closet, I mean, you really can't beat that closet. Yeah. And it has the um, closet. linen closet inside of the bathroom. Did y'all see that? Yes, mm -hmm. it's Which huge. Is, it's just a lot of space. Even that bedroom, you can definitely fit a king. Yes. yes. I was like. If you're not one of those people that has to be super, super centered, you can push your bed to one side and mm -hmm. have your vanity on in there. It just depends on how you make your space. But for the two bedroom, is it similar to that one that we looked at with the ceilings, the windows? So you can find those ceilings still. Um, and like the walk-in It's closet. way brighter. The closets are in a two bedroom? Yeah, because I feel like, okay. I feel like you that might have to schedule another two Because like, she already is in a, like, one I feel like room. what we saw first isn't really an upgrade. For you. No. It's like, yeah. Oh, you're already so in a two No, I'm already in, in a, it's, a it has high ceilings, yeah. lots of lighting. Mm -hmm. Walk-in closet isn't as big as that one. Mm -hmm. But I want that size walk-in closet. Well, the one in the bedroom. den is way bigger. Yeah. Not this one. We should pick the other one. No, the other one is bigger. Not way bigger, but bigger. Is that full size? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is what I need. So I can put stuff, stick stuff in here, mm -hmm. stick stuff in there. Girl, yeah, you gotta utilize that space. Yeah, this one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is more you. Mm-hmm. This is a little pantry, or this, oh, this is a coat That's closet. A coat the okay. Right here. Okay, I see the pantry. Okay, now see, I wish they didn't, they gonna paint these. No. Why would they put red, like no, wood? No, you can get like those little things to put little, on the shelves. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is one bedroom. Yeah, see this is, this is what I'm talking about. Love these windows. Space is great. And then you have a walk-in closet over here. Yeah, this walk-in closet is like way bigger than what I have now. Yeah. And then this is the bathroom. Oh, yes, the sink. The sinks are cute. Lots of cabinet space. Love that. I think it's probably a shower in here. And then maybe a tub in the other bathroom. I don't know if it's two bathrooms though. Fit four, like, I like that. How they extended it, that's cute. And this is the other bathroom. Yep, tub, nice. I like the towel in there. These countertops I can deal with because they're lighter. I can deal with that. Cabinet space is great. And then this is the other, this is a den? Yeah. The den, okay. Which is basically a bedroom. And the walk, this is the size of my closet now. This one. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yep, I like these two. And you don't miss out on this. I know I took a picture when on Amazon and bought some in black. Ooh, the black is probably mm -hmm. way and more they have, fire. They have yeah, that one, it was cool. It might be an option, I don't know. But y'all were driving and they're still not a target. <laughs> we're on to the next one. And I just feel like if the next one is not near a target, I'm sorry, I need to be like 10 minutes away from a target. Sorry, like, but... for real. These houses are really nice over here. Those are cute. But like y'all, it is nothing out here. We 
we in the wilderness at this point. But yeah, she was super sweet. Her name was Candace. She was very, very nice and took her time with explaining things to us. Um, we didn't get to the mail room, but I already saw a, saw a picture of it. She said it was under construction. So that's another thing. I don't want to move into a new apartment, like brand spanking new, just because sometimes they be rushing on things. I'd rather it be a little bit lived in, at least a year or two, and then at least the person before me, they was dealing with all the your uh, thing being broken down, the cabinet falling off, like, I don't have to deal with that because somebody already went through it. Y'all, this is the Shirley, and I know that that one is the one with the fireplace. Oh, the round one? Yes, that oh, has yeah. the fireplace. That's oh my God! God. They have a stair mask. You thought I was feeling you? They look under you. And that is the little baby, too. It's a little baby. See, that's what you guys look at. In person. I'm keeping it clean. Saying you love me, but what do you mean? Pretty ass, you like that on me. That is how you should have been. If you ain't a bad kid, sit with me. I swear that these people's mommy needs me. This one, the island is very small. Um, one of my things where I needed lighter cabinets, the cabinets aren't light. If it was black, that'd be perfect. Uh, I do like the backsplash. The backsplash is cute. But my thing is this island is, well the island you could probably fit three. Three, four. I like the wood floors too. These aren't even, are these wood floors? No, they're laminate. I think they're laminate. Like, oh. Yeah, like those little towels. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. But the windows, yeah, the windows are huge for the ceiling. It makes the space look so much brighter. This is the standard paint that will come with each apartment. And um, I don't like it. See, I can wash your dryer. Okay. You can walk through this room here, and then it'll lead you back through this way. Okay. This one looks better. Yeah. Definitely better than this one. Why is that so close together? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like really close. Okay. I guess it's a linen closet. Yeah. You said the paint what? It does. It's like still that purpley. Oh, this is the walk-in closet. This one is bigger. This is bigger. The shape makes more sense. Yes. Because the door was in the way of the other one. Mm -hmm. This will probably be, you can't even see. This one will probably be like the and office area. Like standard, right? All of them. But you can paint. Couch. You can paint it though. Okay. This is <laughs> the <laughs> kitchen. Okay, and then the beautiful windows and balcony yeah this is pretty with the fireplace like yeah okay okay this closet is the closet is insane this is like double yeah. my closet right now. Okay, and this bathroom is nicer. Nice. Shower, still love the shower the way it looks. Okay, yes, this is what I saw. This is so pretty. You can do airplay, which is really nice. And then over here, uh, living space and bedroom space, which everyone loves because they think. This is cute. 
yeah this could definitely be the filming space yeah. but like studio vibe okay so i am back home and let's just go through a quick rundown all the places were very pretty my favorite for sure is the residence at sandy farm location was a bit too far but the vibe the atmosphere was great the only thing i don't like is that it's a new build um the amenities were pretty good um two bedroom wasn't my favorite layout <sighs> yeah and then the next place was the shirley the shirley had the little bug problem like underneath the kitchen i mean what was that the bathroom that we went in and then there were actually ants in the two bedroom that we went into now the i was very very excited for that one because the picture that i saw was so beautiful and it was literally the like lounge now it didn't feel like home to me which when i go into a place i wanted to feel like home and cozy and like i can stay here for a while like i can see myself being comfortable here i didn't feel comfortable there um and that's a really big thing for me i have to feel comfortable wherever i'm paying to like, stay at now the last one we saw was actually houses for sale we were looking for the houses for rent and in this community they also have apartments that they're building they're going to be coming next year i want to say summer 2024 we thought there were some available because on the the website it said that there was three available but in actuality they were still building. I'll still leave that one below because you might be seeing this in 2024 or you might be wanting to move in 2024. But those apartments are gonna be super nice. And if the price stays the same, the price for like the two bedroom is crazy for what you're getting. Like as far as square footage, um, amenities, as well as location and the aesthetics, okay? The vibe, the vibe is there from what i can see on the models that they have you know showing what it's going to look like that's basically my thoughts on what i saw today i have looked at other apartments that i didn't take you guys along with me i think after seeing these places i'm going to go with the one in my head um this kind of solidified that i want that one the most over the other ones that I see which is always good because going to see places in person is way different than seeing it on a website also it's good to weigh out your options um please don't hit my tripod Cooper just tour a bunch of places I've toured so far about five places and I feel like now I know now I wanted to do like a quick little q a of just some things you guys asked me to include so how much should you save i feel like you should save at least especially if it's your first apartment you don't have any furniture nothing you should at least have eight to ten thousand dollars depending on what your budget is if your budget is like mine where it's like between 2200 and like 2600 then you should at least save that much that you can have enough to pay your rent get your furniture all that stuff and still have some cushion outside of rent a lot of these questions are like about <laughs> um pricing but like outside of rent how much does it realistic realistically cost to live alone like groceries etc so like for me i would probably spend two hundred dollars and that's if i'm going to a grocery store like that a month on groceries but then you have like utilities you have um your rent you have credit card payments car payments insurance renters insurance um i have taxes that i'm paying so like i'm not going to say what how much my living alone is because that's too personal but i just feel like it varies you know depending on their uh, career status like I'm an entrepreneur so I have IRS payments that I have coming out every month I have my student loans about to come out 
because I went to school. So it just really depends, but just know it's very costly. You have to be mindful how much you spend when you're going out places like with your friends for a night out stuff like that that's why you need to get you some good friends because sometimes if you can't come out because you like girl i gotta keep that money in the savings for the utility bills you need your friends to understand okay you don't need them complaining are you moving it looks like you have a beautiful apartment so i think i touched on this already but the reason why i'm moving <laughs> excuse me the reason why i'm moving is for one it's a lot a lot of noise around here and i kind of want to be somewhere tucked off where it's not a lot of commotion from like highways cars construction like just it just be too much going on and since i have to do this i need kind of like silence you know what i'm saying so that's for one for two i feel like my building they aren't very strict on their rules like if it's a non-smoking building like i should not be smoking weed in my apartment i don't have a problem with you smoking weed but like i don't want it coming into my apartment so that's for one and they know people do this like there's a stairwell near me and people go in there to smoke all the time hate that also break-ins are crazy um there's no security um system like as far as cameras outside cameras in the garage i do not like that all right and then also i'm just outgrowing this space i want something bigger i want something um kind of before I move into like a home. If you don't mind, after you move out, can you share the name of your current complex? Probably not. Um, things you should have looked for in this apartment that you, huh? Oh, things you should have looked for in this apartment that you basically didn't. I, I knew what I was getting myself into because this is my starter apartment. Um, it was just really in my budget. It was really under my budget. So that's why I moved to this place. I said, God, I'm jumping out on faith and nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm gonna be good. So I'm, I was, I'm fine. Like everything is fine in this place. I've never had my car broken into. Like nothing's ever happened to me. Nobody's ever tried to rob me. Like none of that. So I've been good, but I came here because it was below my means. Um, but now that I'm like more firm on what I want, I'm not gonna like sway, basically sway from that. What sets the tone for you? Is it space, location, or environment? Um, it's both, the space and environment. What's around me, like what is close to me? I kept saying like, where's a Target at? Where's the Starbucks? Like where is? The weapons, bruh, I need like my go-to places so the environment, like what's around me does matter as much as the space that I'm in. But the space for sure, safe areas in the DMV area for single women to live in. Um, In the DMV, I would say more so Maryland and Virginia. DC, you do have your places, but I feel as though like, DC, you still kind of like have to watch your surroundings. Whereas in Maryland, like of course you watching your surroundings, but it's more suburban lifestyle than in the DC city area. And in Virginia as well, it's like more of a like kind of city, but it's more suburb. All right, so that is the end of this video. It's getting dark out now. This was an all day process and we only looked at three places so yeah i don't know if i'm going to split this up and show more places because i only showed like one area so hmm i'll see but if this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful helpful and hopefully inspiring for your search um and finding your dream apartment uh hopefully it is easy 
younger than like what I'm going through because apartment hunting is no joke. It is for the birds, like oh my gosh. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope you are feeling encouraged and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel to see where I moved to and my moving vlogs and all of that good stuff, like all the content that's gonna come from it. I'm very excited for that part. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and that is it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.